Question 9. Figure 3 shows a sketch of a parallelogram PQRS. Given that P to Q is 2i plus 3j minus 4k and Q to R is 5i minus 2k, part A, show that parallelogram PQRS is a rhombus. Well, since we're told it's a parallelogram, we already know the length of PS to be equal to the length of QR, and we know the length of PQ to be equal to the length of SR. So what we want to do is show that the length of PQ is equal to QR, and then we will have a rhombus. And so we can find the modulus of PQ. The modulus of PQ is the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 4 squared, which gives us a value of root 29. And we can do the same for QR to find the modulus of QR. That would be the square root of 5 squared plus minus 2 squared, which again gives us root 29. And so since the modulus of PQ is equal to the modulus of QR, PQRS is indeed a rhombus. Part B, I want to find the exact area of rhombus PQRS. Well, if we imagine here the two diagonals P to R and Q to S, if we were to multiply these two diagonals together, we would find the area of this large rectangle here. Now, we don't want the area of the large rectangle, we want half of it. If we look at each quarter of this rhombus, we want half of the rectangle that is formed. And so we can find P to R. We have P to Q and we have Q to R. And if we add them together, we get P to R. That's in column notation, 2, 3, minus 4, plus 5, 0, minus 2, which gives us 7, 3, minus 6. This allows us to find the magnitude of P to R. So that is found by doing the square root of 7 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 6 squared, which gives us a value of root 94. Now we need to find the length Q to S. Well, Q to S is the same as going from Q to P and then P to S. But we already know P to S to be the same as Q to R, since it is a parallelogram. And so Q to S can be written as Q to P plus Q to R which again with column notation is minus 2, minus 3, 4, that's the opposite of PQ, plus Q to R, which is 5, 0, minus 2. This gives us a column vector of 3, minus 3, 2, and so the length QS is the modulus, which is the square root of 3 squared, plus minus 3 squared, plus 2 squared, and we get a value of root 22. So given that we have the lengths of these two diagonals, we can multiply them together and divide by 2 to find the area of our parallelogram PQRS. And so half of root 94 times root 22, which is root 517, which is the exact area of our rhombus PQRS.